So I've just taken receipt of my new monitor. So excited to share this with you and try it out for myself. This is the Dell Alienware 32 inch 4K OLED display with true black HDR and a curvature of 1700R. I did agonize for a while over which monitor to choose and it ended up being between this and the Samsung Odyssey Neo G8. The reason I didn't go for the latter was because the 1000R curvature on that was just a little bit excessive I thought so I preferred the more subtle approach that Alienware monitor has instead. So let's go ahead and get the box open and go for the assembly and first look. Now one concern straight from the get-go, I'm not sure if this comes through on camera easily, but there's a big gash here in the box. I can put my hand right into that. So a little bit worried about if that's done any damage to the monitor, but hopefully they'll package these things really well because of how sensitive and delicate they can be. Okay, and it looks like there's plenty of packaging here on this side. So yeah, the monitor can't have been damaged from here because the screen's not even on show there. So we have our quick start guide. Some more documents in this little box along with a microfiber cleaning cloth. A bunch of cables including HDMI, USB and display port as well. The base of the stand, the main body of the stand, the power cord which is your standard kettle lead as we call them here in the UK and there are instructions on the monitor itself which tell us to actually open up the box this way. That way we can install the stand whilst this is lying down, which just makes things so much more convenient. So my first look at the back of the monitor here, and I can see some of the connecting ports. There's others as well that are not quite in view yet, but let's go ahead and get the stand set up. Well, the main body of the stand here has a lot of weight to it. Check that out with the Alienware logo. How awesome is that? This monitor is Visa 100, I believe, compatible as well. So the way this works, this just slots nicely into the base there and it should click into place yep and on the bottom here we have actually a hand screw which we just need to tighten in order to make sure that this is secured okay nice and simple and now there are no screws necessary to actually attach the stand to the monitor it just clicks into place and once it's done that it is very secured there we go so easy. If I want to remove this, there's a button here at the bottom. I'll just push that down and then the stand will come off again. Okay, so let's start removing the final bit of packaging. I will turn off my studio light here due to the reflection you would get. So all of the stickies on this screen protector here have been a little bit annoying, but I think we're making progress. There we go. Oh, look at, oh, I did without even turning this thing on, how impressive it's gonna be with the true black, because that screen is dark in its off state. And the fact that with OLED, the pixels can actually turn off individually, their LEDs so that they go completely black, helps such a huge amount with the color profiling. At least that's what I've heard. So looking forward to putting it through its paces. Now in terms of the connections, we have the USB to connect to the PC along with multiple high-speed USB ports that you can use, two HDMI 2.1 ports, one of which supports eARC and ARC, so if you want to hook up a soundbar there, you can. And then we also have the display port, which is version 1.4. Now, there are a couple of other connection ports as well. They are on the underside of the monitor here, so it's a little bit dark but you can see that we have the USB-C as well, which is going to be useful for charging my phone. That is an out port just for charging. So let's get this on my desk hooked up to my computer. So here I have the display actually running and I've got to say this thing is incredible. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen a PC gaming monitor with this level of vivid detail. In one sense, however, I'm not surprised because of this having the OLED panel. I was expecting a very crisp, vibrant image, which is exactly what I've got here. But still, you can't really prepare yourself for actually seeing it in person. Now, one of the other reasons I think this monitor is going to be worth it from my point of view is I have my PC and my PS5 gaming console right next to each other on my desk. So they will be using the same display. 
Now, if I only had my computer, then it probably would have been a factor to consider. Am I going to be getting my money's worth out of this screen? I probably still would have got it because of the features that it offers. But having that HDMI 2.1 port, or actually two of them, so that I can hook up my console, have all of the features that the PS5 supports, such as the variable refresh rate, um, the 120 hertz gaming. Of course, the monitor itself supports up to 240 hertz. Yeah, it was just a no-brainer in the end. So I'll be honest, I'm a little bit overwhelmed by it all. I've still got a lot of work to do in order to get the most out of this screen. And I've got my PS5 to hook up to it. I've got a lot of testing to do with it. So this is really just a first look, but I am excited to bring a more in-depth review and more thoughts to you later on down the road once I've had a really good play about with it. So folks, hopefully this unboxing setup and first look at the Dell Alienware 32-inch 4K OLED PC display has been a bit of a help to you and I don't know maybe if you're looking for a monitor upgrade this may be worth checking out quite possibly the best non-ultra wide 16 by 9 monitor display at 32 inches you can get today.